Hi everyone, welcome along to today's video. Now you all know how I love home security cameras. Yeah, they're great things and they're getting better and better. So today we're going to look at this one here. Okay, and it, as you can see it's a, a solar powered one. It uses a panel directly on the camera. So it's going to be interesting because you would not need to run any wires of any description or power lines and things like this. So let's get it out of the box and have a little look, shall we? Here are then all the bits out of the box, obviously the main camera and instructions, fitting it up and so forth, uh, a monitoring sticker and a whole alignment tool as it were uh, for fitting the bracket to the camera on the wall makes life a bit easier and a little fixing kit there. Now of course the one limiting factor about a solar powered camera this description the security camera has got to be facing south that panel has got to get the sun so there is a restriction with this in that you've got to really think about where you need a camera and whether it's going to get enough sun to keep it powered up and running so that is very important and the one main restriction with this type of camera but other than that uh, they're as good as any others I've seen now plugged in the back of the camera you probably saw it is the USB lead so you can charge it via that so if it is up somewhere in the garden and you don't want to take it down you could take a power pack up and charge it or if it's easy removable to get to uh, you could bring it indoors and charge it up if you're not getting enough sun in the position you're in because we know that winter times in England they can be a bit dark and moody can't they even when you've got a south facing garden and the slot for the USB cable is here okay so it's not too bad easy enough to bottom the camera and on the top of the camera here we have a little rubber piece here holding this on let's get it out for you so you can twist it around have a look and I know it's dark because it's black it makes it hard to see but that's where your SD card goes if you want to reuse obviously that type of record which we all do there is the availability of cloud with this but you have to pay for it like all of them just to give you a better view of it you can see it easier there I'll pull that back there now and uh, you can see where the SD card port goes and also that's the on off switch and the reset button there for resetting the entire camera so fairly easy and that just plugs back over there they're on top of the camera there that goes on top of there like so so there we have our camera installed on the wall it's very easy I'm not going to bother taking you through the bracket connection it's just a couple of free screws and it's up let's then get straight on with the features of the camera in the settings we have camera on there share the device friends and family very useful and motion detection we'll have a look at that first it's enabled and you get this screen here and you can detect humans only and tracking human tracking on there and you get to do sensitivity which is good you really need this detect sensitivity you don't want to be pointing across the road to your neighbors and pick up everybody going in and out of their house um, you only want the subjects you want close to you that are in your property shall we say so this is kind of a good feature and also got you've got automatic adjustment there it will do it automatically for you uh, it will automatically adjust to the appropriate detection sensitivity and this is to improve the battery life so it lasts a little bit longer next we have auto alarm well I don't know alarms going off <laughs> you I've disabled that uh, notification settings though we need that one and this one is to receive push notifications that's my favorite kind of one uh, you can get the intermediate mode or intelligent mode which I've gone for you get the alarm event things like this stay in passing and low power moving on we have cloud recording I'm not using that because you've got to pay for it and I've got an SD card in there anyway so that's fine for me I've got audio and video here settings for in there 2k mode smooth mode and a few other little things here automatic switching based on the light uh, white light aided illumination and turn off the infrared light and also you've got your two-way talk speaker at the very bottom there come on down then and then we have schedule sleep which you can set up if you want I'm not from here I want it all the time 
the LED status lights and then you've got things like Amazon Alexa and your Google if you want to operate the camera with those if you've got them at home you can very easily and then the usual things at the bottom about the device firmware updates quick start and reconnect Wi-Fi and remove device and that's about it now then back to the tracking um, set that up for that now to operate so I'm going to walk outside and see if it tracks me around the garden okay so I'm heading outside Just a few more items to show you then on the main screen, touch it there, and one is UHD, that is the quality of the video, switch it and it's SD, we can stay with UHD shall we. This one here is the lights that come on on the camera, and that keeps them on, so beware of draining your battery with that one, okay, uh, we'll turn it off, and this one here is the alarm, goes for 15 seconds, this one here is a bit of movie, light it up again and this one is a still shot there uh, and that's that's about a lot of it I think there now now you wouldn't believe that is dark out there I mean, it's really dark it's got a few ambient lights and when you've got those ambient lights it really lights everything up in you can see the amount of flies and the rain coming down <laughs> let's go out and brave it shall we Well that about wraps it up then, we've virtually done. One last thing with this camera, bearing in mind that you can kind of fit it anywhere you like, up the garden or wherever, uh, do bear in mind that you will be limited by the range of your Wi-Fi, okay, the distance from your modem. So I suggest when you are going about placing it, before you actually screw it up wherever you plan to have it, take your mobile phone with you with the camera on it so you can see and just check that you are getting signal back to your router before you go screwing it up okay <laughs> don't do all that effort and then it's still not going to work because you're too far away it's easily forgotten when you haven't got wires okay it's a, it's a, one of those things okay but that's about it it's a great little camera obviously i do like it and there's more about it in the description i've got the website for if you want to look at it there and also the amazon link there for you if you want to have a look at it on there okay that's about it though all my views for the usual stuff which is you normally plumbing i know Derek and 33 thanks for watching guys bye bye